A group of residents and parents is demanding the EPISD not close their historic neighborhood school. Vilas Elementary is in the Sunset Heights neighborhood just west of downtown. The campus is, campus is more than 100 years old. It's one of more than a dozen elementary schools that could be shut down to save the district money. Tonight, ABC 7's Maria Garcia tells us the parents are fighting back. There's people that, that live in the neighborhood still. They went to Vilas. Their kids went to Vilas. Their grandkids are going to Vilas now. And so there's a lot of history and, and, and attachment. Leah Osborne, the president of the Sunset Heights Neighborhood Improvement Association, says EPISD should consider Vilas's historical significance. It's a trust. It's over 100 years old. She and a group of residents called the Viva Vilas Committee also want EPISD to consider downtown revitalization. And we're going to have more families moving into the neighborhood because of the revitalization. With 260 to students, an EPISD report shows Vilas is only at 60% utilization and expected to further decline. A district report says EPISD could close Vilas and sell the building, turn it into a pre-K center, or close nearby Lamar Elementary and rezone those children into Vilas. Osborne says they plan to offer another alternative. One of the proposals that, that we're hoping the board would consider would be to use Lamar as a pre-K and rezone students from Lamar to Messina Elementary and into Vilas. But EPISD says for two and a half months, the district has been asking for feedback and specific feedback at that. And Vilas parents haven't turned in survey forms. Wherever your neighborhood was, you'd have access to a meeting and access to that information. The majority of the time of these additional meetings was devoted to a Q&A uh, and public forum. So again, there was that opportunity to, to reach out to us. Um, nonetheless, of course, we will hear their concerns. We are reporting the Viva Vilas Committee plans to turn in a petition tomorrow. EPISD says the board will continue to listen to parents until the final decision is made. And I'll pass.